Is that so so that's what, what a heart attack is, right. is the obstruction of blood flow to the point where the heart muscle dies. That's, that's the heart attack, and then it gets replaced by scar tissue. Here is a picture of um, a, uh, a, an, a coronary artery that is normal. And here's one where there's mild plaque buildup. Here's one where there's a little bit more plaque buildup. And here's one where there's at least moderate plaque buildup. So if we look at this, this is probably a 50% blockage. Mm -hmm. So in order for symptoms to develop or for stress test to be positive, an artery has to be narrowed by about 70%, which is about if we were to draw a line here. Okay. Once a plaque develops to that degree, um, blood flow will be impaired, and um, when the blockage is, say, 70% or so, that would, you know, somebody who was previously able to walk up two flights of stairs without a problem maybe would start noticing some chest discomfort at the top of a flight of stairs or halfway through uh, um, associated maybe with some shortness of breath. The denial that we spoke about is where people start to get symptoms and they say, oh, it's indigestion, it's something, it's this, it's that. It's really not my heart because people don't want to believe that they have a heart problem. So that brings us to the heart attack right. pathophysiology. What happens with a heart attack is, isn't that an artery goes from here to here to here to here and then gets progressively worse and worse and worse. That's not the way a heart attack happens. What happens with a heart attack is, even with this minor degree of plaque, um, and even here and even here, um, where people aren't symptomatic, um, the, this covering of the plaque, the fibrous cap, um, uh, tears or, or ruptures and exposes the circulating blood to this, the lipid-laden, uh, the, the center of the plaque, which is an intense stimulus for blood clot formation. Mm -hmm. And very quickly thereafter, you get the formation of a blood clot, which uh, is responsible for totally occluding the artery. So you go from wide open to very quickly developing a blood clot that, that then uh, totally blocks off the artery, and then that's a heart attack.